Now, Emily, you can see that uh, we have an open, this is open shed, open both ends, and that way you just get the feeling you're outside. And of course, if it just rains, light rain, they stay out. But if it really starts blowing or anything, they'll, they'll all go inside. So not many schools has both, where you work outdoors and indoors. And of course, everybody likes to be out here in the summer. And of course, right here, we're in Northwest Georgia. And of course, flying, I, I keep up with the weather. And in reality, Northwest Georgia has the best weather all year round in the United States. Northwest. And it, that's really shocking. And we're sitting in a beautiful valley. It's a beautiful country up here. It is very and, nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh, it's just the weather's not that bad. It's, you, it gets a little cool during certain times of year. And then you get a little hot certain time. But it's, if you go south of Atlanta, it's going to be super hot in the summer. And, of course, it's warmer in the winter. But up here, it's, year around, it's better weather. Okay. Could you tell us a little bit more about the courses that are offered here? Well, we've got a 2, 6, and 12, and then we have a more advanced if somebody wants to come longer. And I'm one of the few schools, if you take a six-week course in reality, Emily, you're not getting a six-week course. You're getting an eight-week course. And the reason we can do that is because we serve lunch and we don't go out, so you get that extra time. So when you get your diploma, you're actually saving money because you're getting an eight-week course, but you're taking it in six. So it's less time and save money. And uh, so the students really like that. And then, of course, a 12-week course, when they take a 12-week course, they get a 16-week uh, diploma. And so reality, they're saving all that time by not going off to eat, uh, you know, and losing a couple hours doing that and a couple hours traveling time going out. So I, I just think it works out better. Okay. Do you offer any specialty classes? And this is coming from, from somebody that I, 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 I like horses, but I don't know that much about them. So, you know. Well, you take, we have gated classes here. Now, in a couple of weeks, we got a world class uh, shoer coming here from Skull Valley, Arizona. He'll be teaching a class on reining, reining horses. He shoes all your world champion reining horses. So, and then we got uh, a young gentleman. Well, he's not that young, but anyway. Younger than I am, he comes from up Tennessee, walking horse, and he does a gated course. So about every eight to 12 weeks, he'll do a gated course, which is only three or four days. But in reality, it gets you involved if you, you'd like to get into gated horses. So we have a lot more variety. And of course, all these advanced students are uh, uh, guys that come in that chew horses. They want to pick up on what we've learned or what we've been experimenting with are researching, they want to pick up something new or a new product. Now we have this new plate for foundered horses and we have a lot of farriers coming in wanting to learn how to put it on proper for foundered horses. Mm -hmm. So constantly research is going on all the time, something new. And I think the greatest thing for the students that come here is the products. They get to see what products really work, what supplements works the best, what adhesive works the best on the foot. And uh, they just get, to me, 10 times better education. And that's my opinion. In fact, you know, that could easily prove, but anyway, it's, it's really true. So where did the majority of, of your students come from? I mean, can anybody, you know, learn to shoe a horse? <laughs> sure, tell. Yeah, we have ladies come. We have, uh, we had one guy from Colorado who was 70 years old, and he was out doing the young guys. In fact, one of them went out to hike with him, and it took him a couple of days to get over it. But uh, it made me feel young anyway. But the, the, the big thing, you got people here from, we got a young lady here right now from South Africa. We have them from England that comes and from all over the world. Even though in England they have to go to school four years and apprentice for a year before they'll let them in, uh, work on horses over there, even after they go to school that long, they'll still come over here to this research and want to take a two-week course to learn some of this more modern because they're still teaching over there like they did you know, 200 years ago. In other words, this is the only research center in the United States, in fact, it's the only one in the world, studying farrier science. So it's a great opportunity for anybody to come here, even in advance or a person's already shooting. So I guess you, you get to meet a lot of interesting people in this business then. Oh, you bet. And that's, I, I'm gonna have to, uh, the problem we have a lot of the guys to get in this, because here's the truth, you don't need a heifer when you go out to shoe, and, it's, and you never see one of these guys advertise. And uh, you, you look in the yellow page, you don't see no fairs in the yellow pages. 
and there's more horses today than was for automobiles come along. So there's plenty of work. Some of these guys are making more than the President of the United States. And what if you got a million dollar horse, you want a million dollar shoer. And uh, so the point is, they go out, they don't need a heifer. It's one of the few free trades left in America. And uh, so you go out of your own, you work two days, three days, and you know, personally, I like to work two and take off five. I don't like that working <laughs> five, taking off two. Sounds but good to me. <laughs> that's the beauty of it. And you work at your own pace. And most of the time, after you've been, you know, the first year is the toughest. It's no sense of telling anybody that they're gonna just come right out of school and jump right on to, you know, making it. Being in business for yourself takes a little get up and go. And uh, well, to give you, we have business clinics here where, uh, and I generally do those where I tell them, you know, you got to get your tail out of that bed and on the summer and be out there on the job at daylight because about 11 o'clock the flies get bad and you want to quit because you get kicked. Then in the winter time you sleep in and get out late when it warms up. So there's an advantage of listening to fairies that are already issue horses and especially at a school where you, you get a chance to talk to the visiting fairies. So that's great. That's just a great advantage, I think, for anybody coming to school. Sounds great. Oh, there's no other trade. But I was going to get around to this, uh, the guys. Now, there, I really give a hard lecture on the guys because you're going to meet a lot of beautiful women out there. And, you know, a lot of ladies have horses, and they got to learn to keep them eyeballs down on the ground because their husband's standing right over a lot of times, and you're on their property. So, you know... It's just got to be professional. So I give a, a lecture, and then the gals, you know, they're going to meet a lot of guys. But you meet a lot of people in this business when you're out working and you have a lot of time. So you're going to meet a lot of people. Okay. And anything else that you want to, you know, tell tell the people out there or the students out there that, that might be teetering on the edge of, of trying to decide whether or not to come to a farrier school to help encourage them to come? Well, I'm hoping... It, you know, just we making this tape, uh, especially in, to, in, to send out to the students to give them an opportunity to see. But before I'd go to a school, it's just like we were talking earlier, and we, you were talking about asking questions. I said, ask just like you were going to school tomorrow. You want to attend, and uh, because you're probably going to ask the same questions the guys and gals are going to be asking. Look at the school and visit, and uh, it's a good idea. And uh, if you can't do that, well, sign up for a two-week course and come see how you like it. But most any school that you come to, not all, but most of them, you know, they're not, if you sign up for a 12 and you take two weeks and you see you're not going to like it, then, you know, they're going to refund the rest of it. They're not going to take your money. And they're, uh, I can't say that for all the schools, but most of the schools are pretty honest. And so I'm not going to throw off on them. And, uh, but to me, where there's doing research is what I think is the best. And uh, so if I was choosing a school personally, of course, naturally I'm gonna choose mine, but I will, we have a student contest each year here while we're having a convention and I'll put my students up my six weeks against anybody's 12 weeks, so, and I still do it. <laughs>